Alrighty, this one's going to be a really short video as we're just going to be making another static mesh instance component that is going to handle our walls. So this is again, like I said in the previous video, temporary. We're going to be overhauling this, but we just want a way to set it up so we can work on our attachment system because that, in my opinion, is going to be the probably the most difficult part of this, at least in my opinion, because I've never done this before. This is kind of a, I'm just coming up with ideas in my head. So what we're going to do is in building that H, we are just going to make another one of these components here. And this one's going to be called wall instanced mesh. Like so. Then we're going to do the exact same thing. Wall instanced mesh. Create the default sub object. And give it the name of wall instanced static mesh component. That's all we really have to do. So let's go ahead and build and set this up. Alrighty, once you're back in, let's go ahead and go to BP building and grab our wall instanced mesh. And that's going to be our wall. Like so. All right, so we have our wall set up. And realistically, that's all we have to do. Right now we're setting up strictly foundations because that's all we're actually doing. We're just placing down the actor. And on begin play, we're adding the foundation. Uh, here soon, we want to get rid of this because we don't want that to happen. We want to have some form of condition. So we're going to create like an, some functions that will actually handle the spawning of this stuff. So we're going to have ways to tell whether or not we're trying to spawn, you know, an attachment, like an attachment part such as a wall on top of a foundation. That would be an attachment. In which case, we would just, you know, add an old instance component or sorry we would add a mesh to this component and if we do not have an attachment that indicates that we are trying to spawn a foundation and it's going to actually spawn a separate well, it's going to spawn the actor instead so we want to spawn the actor but not necessarily actually scratch that now i think we're going to end up leaving this i think anyways so in the next few videos we're going to start trying to work on our attachment system and trying to come up with some ways to set that up so that's gonna be all for this video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons only, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So, I'll see you in the next video.